เชิญด้วยคนไทยแบบไม่รู้สึกรู้สึกคือก็ยังคงแบบถามไทยมันแบบปกติต่อไปอะไรแบบเฮ้ยเป็นไงอย่างนั้นกลุ่มยังไงมันก็ไม่สนใจมันก็ด่าฉันเว้ยก็ไม่บอกฉันก็ไม่ได้อะไรไม่โกรธทำบุญไปละกันถือว่าก็คงคิดว่าฉันควรตีนอะไรก็ไม่รู้แต่จริงฉันไม่ได้ควรตีนครอบครัวอะไรจนแบบรับการทั้งหลังขึ้นหลังขึ้นไล่เลอจนแบบเหมือนเป็นแล้วระหว่างเหมือนก็ไม่ไม่มาเรียนอะไรไปแล้วก็แบบไปไปหาผู้ชายไปติดผู้ชายคือมันก็โพสเป็นอะไรแบบพฤติกรรมมันว่ามันไปนอนกับใครอะไรเงี้ยคือปกติแล้วก่อนหน้าเราเป็นคนนี้หน่อยยิ่งกว่ากันหรอคือเปลี่ยนตอนปีสามที่แกบอกแบบใช่มงมากอาจารย์ก็ทาไปแบบสาวเลยก็คือเป็นจริงเลยมากของสาวก็เหมือนบ้านเขาคือแบบก็ว่าสาวแบบมาอะไรเงี้ยแล้วแม่เขาก็เป็นตุ้มตักวันอะไรเงี้ยก็คือน่ากลัวอะไรเงี้ยคือแบบทุกคนก็สงสารแต่แบบให้ตัวอยู่แล้วก็ไม่ไหวป่ะไม่รู้เลยอ่ะยังไม่ได้คิดอ่ะไก่แล้วก็ใส่ไปก่อนแล้วก็ใส่ไปก่อน
อันนี้เป็นดับเบิลสเปรย์ทำมาแล้วทำมามันสองนะครับแต่ทีมพอมันไม่จำกัดได้ทำอะไรไม่ได้มันจะคุณทำได้แปดร้อยเนี่ยอันนี้ก็ตัดเข้าไปร้อยสี่ร้อยหรือยาพันสี่ร้อยที่ยิงตอบคำถามข้อแรกแบรนด์ไม่ได้แบ๊แต่แต่แค่ว่ามันมีการมอสนใจมันทำแบบแค่ว่าการงานไม่ผมคิดไม่ได้อะไรเลยที่แค่เอาเนื้อหาเอาข้อมูลมาจับแต่งดีแต่นี่มันเวลาทำมันที่จะตรวจร่างกายร่างกายแล้วก็แบบจะเป็นเรื่องงานใหม่ก็ได้ทำให้เราไปตรวจแปลกมากที่หมอจะจับจุ๋ยอยู่นั่นแหละก็ไม่ได้ชมจับเลยก็ตรวจอ่ะไม่ตรวจไม่หรอที่ทำอะไรอ่ะที่จะนอนที่จะไปที่จะย้ายทำงานใหม่ไปอยู่กับกินตะไคร่แล้วแต่ที่ก็ไปตรวจร่างกายคือหนีนะแล้วก็ตรวจตัวตัวไปเรียบร้อยนี่มันที่เราเฮ้ยทำจริงโอ้ยเ
We are going to discuss about the major step. I wonder whether the director has something to discuss to, to share with you the possible the direction about doing the diet, the agency on. So right now some of you would like no. You advise her. Don't you? You have not, so can you advise her yet? Oh. Say it again. All about the process. I anchor it. Okay? Strongly anchor it that right now you are going to secure the advisor. But before you come to the advisor, you need to do the homework, to do certain uh, uh, homework so that you have something to discuss with a uh, potential advisor. Okay? Sort of like selling your idea. Many times that the student came to my office and said, Ajahn, I want to do a different study with you. I, re I respond back, what good in you that I want to supervise? I'm not a product sitting idly on the chair waiting for the student to pick up as an advisor. I'm busy. <coughs> uh, in, um, in the previous batch, I accept two students. Okay, only two students. And full hands. Okay? So, major step in doing my is how to conduct <coughs> preparing a review of the liter uh, of your literature, regardless of your master, uh, master project, regardless of your independent study, mm -hmm. you have to do literature review. The reason that you have to do literature review is because you are not the first in the MBA program. I almost guarantee, I am able to guarantee that your topic may have been done last year, a year before, even like a business plan. Okay? Not only in MBA, English MBA, but right now we have MM, Master of Management program, also taught in English, and even in Thai program. Okay? So you have. First, you have to. I, I'm going to suggest a certain step tonight, and I hope that you move fast. Right now, don't think about your friend. Okay, get yourself into a better position. Ah, major step in doing my ears. First, selecting a topic. Okay, this is I would say a very crucial step. Because if you start with the wrong idea, the whole semester would be hell. Because you need to complete that independent study within a semester. Okay? Selecting a topic, <coughs> then narrow down what are specifically your objective. What this independent what this independent study will hope to accomplish at the end. You are going to do a business plan, you are going to do a feasibility study, you are going to do research on certain topic, you are going to do research on management, you are going to do research on information technology, on marketing. Not everyone not every faculty will be able to supervise everything. For example, if you ask me, Ajahn, I want to do a, a business plan with you. I would say, oh, I'm not a person that could supervise any business plan. I am able to sit as a committee member when you, when you deliver oral presentation. But <coughs> because I'm not an expert in drafting, preparing any business plan, I always assist someone else. So I, I do not supervise. But if you want to do research, I'm, I'm not the one that you want to do research in finance. My research is more on electronic commerce, on the information system, particularly in the business, or online marketing, for example. Okay. So you are going to nail down what are the objectives. Why this is very important. Because toward the end, what you need to do is fulfilling the objective co uh, correctly. If you want to do business plan, what are exactly your objective? Don't give me a very simple sentence. 
this IS will prepare a business plan. You are going to uh, sort of like uh, lay out what are important components of the business plan and what how you fulfill that objective. Then execute the study. If you want to do data collection, collect the data. If you are, if you are going to do the interview, interview the subject. And then writing a study report. All of this you have to finish within one semester. So don't expect to do a very rewarding project. Just get it done so that you will be moved to the comprehensive exam and get out of here. Okay? How to select a doable? I want to say it depends on your interest. It depends on your interest. You are you have passion on certain topic or not. Okay, for example, you are you are uh, you are working in HR department, so I assume that working with people will inspire you to come up with certain topic that you want to do. Okay? And then uh, whether you are familiar with that topic. Try to stay with the topic that you are most comfortable with. Do not challenge yourself to do a rather difficult topic. This is not the world challenging project. This is just the three credit in uh, three credit independent study. Okay? So you have to think back what is the inter uh, what is the topic that Oh, you find it so enjoyable to work on in the next three months. Okay? So, think about that. For example, Ajahn, I work in online department section. So, I want to do something about electronic commerce. I said, yes, interesting. But, you have to think carefully what is in the electronic commerce. You must score. The topic. Select one element, one company. For example, I want to do like you can claim you want to do online advertising pricing model. Is that fine to do the sort engine optimization? Fair for whom? Fair for Google? Fair for a website? Fair for product? Especially the paper clay. On the right side, for example, mm -hmm. or trust in electronic commerce. Currently, I assume that every single of you may have one may have experience on um, electronic banking. Am I correct? Some of you enjoy the application on your mobile. I I pay all of my bill using the um, uh, internet banking. But I still don't want to use my mobile. I never download any like uh, SCB app, uh, K Camera. I never download that because I have full access to the computer in my office or the computer at home. I I don't know. I, I, right now, I still have. I don't have trust enough to do mobile transaction, mobile banking transaction. But I have no problem because. I myself, I believe that I try my best to protect myself. Okay? Did you do the same? I don't know. So trust is a very critical issue. This is how you scope from just electronic commerce into the, I would say, a possible topic. If you are not able to scope it down, who could help you? The faculty you hope to work with. Ajahn, uh, did Ajahn Miller teach you too? Ah, okay, some of you enjoy working with Ajahn Miller. You could approach him and ask for his feedback. Ajahn, any comment on this? Do not come to any Ajahn's office empty handed. You should do certain homework and then ask for feedback so that you can engage in the discussion with Ajahn. 
And that would be a very productive meeting. Okay? So this is this is not, these are not only the two topics. Okay? Sometimes you review literature, you read someone else's work, okay? Then the somewhat like easy attempt to come up with your IS topic is how about you extend to the new context, okay? Specific example, like credit card holders. One of the students approached me um, five years ago. This is thesis. Because they want to do something on electronic commerce. I don't remember trust or something. And then I said, ooh, that, well, people have been doing that. What's new in your topic? And then, John, I want to collect data only from credit card holders. They asked, how could you how could you get access to credit card holders? I don't want my student to stand in front of any department store and ask people, do you have a credit card? Do you have a credit card? Could you be my subject? Not that. But this is a uh, young exec or executive student, I don't remember. She is the IT manager. Therefore, she has access. And she worked under my supervision at the end. Okay? So it's just extending to cover new sample, or accountant, or new term. So when you have done a business plan, so you would, I want to see, especially the um, uh, business plan on exporting uh, uh, items to America at the moment, because uh, you, we, we all know that President elect uh, Donald Trump has a very strange mind. Okay. So you may want to do a business plan after the U.S. Select, uh, election. See, you could turn it down uh, into a certain, you, you could turn it into a more like uh, interesting topic. <coughs> but keep in mind, try not to, uh, to have a very narrow or useless topic, for example. If you claim, I want to study machine net serving behavior, why? What is rational behind this? Why you limit yourself to study only student in business school? You have, you must have rational, okay? After you get certain idea of what you want to do, Write down one, two, three, four, the number of objectives that you want to accomplish. The objective must be clearly defined, including the number and the rational behind the objective. If you want to do a business plan, you need to lay, to lay down, okay, first, you are going to discuss about internal factor, external factor. A second one, you are going to uh, do a, a customer need to do the survey on the customer need whether your business plan would be for a certain target. Okay, write it down. The second bullet here, I love it. Well crafted objective will frame the remaining process. Many students came to me, even you are not my skill or my advice. Ajahn, they asked. Could you take a look at that questionnaire? They drop the questionnaire and say, yes, if you want me to take a look at your questionnaire, give me a copy of that questionnaire plus the objective. Many students, Ajahn, how many items I should ask in my questionnaire? You ask, all, you ask the questionnaire items only, they help you to respond correctly to your objective. Don't ask too many items or too little items. You have to do like what we call mapping. This objective, this questionnaire, this objective, this questionnaire to make sure that you have enough information to respond to your objective. Then, make an effort and execute your study. Okay? Put much of your effort. Understand some of you work full time, some of you on a new assignment. 
Okay, we need to allocate time. Okay, so and then writing a study report. Prepare writing to communicate to readers of the study detail. Who are the readers that we have to communicate to? Anyone? Who are your target? Who are your audience of your independent study? Committee. Committee. Huh? Committee. Before commit, uh, before committee. Supervisor. Get advice. Okay. First, you are going to communicate what you study to your advisor. The second group, the committee members. The third group, the third group, public. the public, including yourself at the moment. Right now, if you don't know where you can, where you can access to previous independent study. Shame on you. Right now you are at the state that you should know where you can get to a pool of independent study previously. How? Ah, I saw you knock your head. How to access? How? Ah, could you be more specific? I can walk to the library, but no one could present me the, uh, the independent study. You can find on the card of law. Okay. And in Carter July, there are plenty of resources. It could be text, it could be books, it could be technological report. You can, you can select, you can go on the thesis uh, on the So we can select to go to the uh, library center, central library, or even the faculty library. You want to go to the uh, central library? I go. Oh, to do what? Study. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But because I, I, I believe that you should access and then get to the library exactly the section that you want to get your independent study. What's your name? Jacopo. If I want to if I want to locate an independent study under a Jacopo supervision, how to do that? But if Ajahn is very active in research paper, you would have like thousands of entry. How to how to narrow that down? The database of IS. Where is it? Have you shared it lately? Kutitisak is the manager and he is not doing his job on this area. It is sit outside. I assume uh, about seven years ago, I'm a committee me I am a, a, a member of the program committee at right on like John Nathapon. And right now, if you're interested, I'm the chairperson of the DDA program. Some of you may have earned DBA, you are going to earn MBA. Are you interested in doctoral, doctor of business administration? Submit your application soon. <laughs> but first, get your MBA. <laughs> okay, ah, I suggest that you go to the uh, Online resources and then go to the using Patsuri Chompu Kam, not just any keyword, but only when she is an advisor. That is one uh, one item that you can check. Hey, you want to search Patsuri Chompu Kam as the advisor, <coughs> not any author of any paper. She is not the author of the independent study. She is the advisor. And then you can have a list of all students working under her supervision. Okay? Ah. So
So I encourage you if you don't have a clear idea what you want to do as your independent study, you better read someone else's work. But before you start reading someone else's work, you need to have certain idea in your mind. What you want to do as your independent study? <coughs> Men's grooming. Uh, you are going to do it as a marketing research. Uh, a business plan? No, 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 no. Why not? Because uh, I interest to uh, execute my ideas with the statistics, which I quite uh, familiar with the design of the network. Okay. Yeah. Um, a very strange. <laughs> process. Uh, you are familiar with the statistic. You are you you like very good in statistic. Okay, so you want to do research. Yes. And you select the topic about um, male grooming. Yes, I need to find a factor that uh, have a like a, a man would decide when they want to have haircut. I'm not a cosmetic for men. Oh, cosmetic for men. So who is your advisor? <coughs> or who you will approach as the advisor? I plan to uh, advise her as an Oh, you plan to consult. Oh, okay, so right now it's not that secret. Uh -huh. So you have to move fast because friends right now know about your plan. <laughs> and no one wants to steal your idea? Are you sure? Even they can do better than me. The worst is, Ajahn A might be interested in supervising that student and he has 5 or 10 students already so when you approach him, he will say, sorry, I have... I have also you, And did he accept? Uh, I, I, he, he, in the process, in the process, see, he moved very fast. I don't mind that. And when you came to talk to a giant bear, you did you bring any friend with you? Did you bring any friend with you when you have a very, very good idea? Okay? So right now it's not, I think of you, would you like to come with me and talk to a giant bear? I might get the topic and you might get the topic too. You, you right now think about yourself first. This is not selfish. This is how to survive. Jacobong, how many students that Ajahn A already accept? <coughs> Not yet. Uh, because now the start rates, no one is contacting personally. Maybe including me too. Only two students. And the other student, uh, Ajahn A, <coughs> might not be that happy with his or her topic. Am I correct? I'm not sure. Very good. But you know the student, right? Yes. Okay. Ah. So right now, Ajahn A might have to advise already. Okay, so you have to move fast. Okay, ah, so possible topic. I present you here could have like inspire you first. You might want to do like a feasible marketing channel for all top product. This student work with Ajahn Kuntali. Did Ajahn Kutali, oh, okay, the student, the, her IS with Ajahn Kutali, and I, 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 I was a committee member, and in, in, her, in her IS, first she tell the uh, committee that she want to do a uh, feasible marketing channel for every single or top product. After one month, she realized that she will not be able to do that. Finally, she picked up only one all top product in order to do a very complete recommendation on feasible marketing channels. I don't remember what is her exact product. And then business plan to revive the soap brand. If you want to make business plan, give it keep in mind what is the purpose of your business plan. 
Why? Because some, sometimes the students want to do a business plan. Okay? But that student has no clear objective. And that is a very bad start. I recall, I don't remember who is the advisor, but Ajahn Songkir. Did you take any class with Ajahn Songkir too, right? Ajahn Songkir and I were the committee member. I recall that we asked the student about what are the products on her business plan. At first, she claimed frozen durian. Frozen durian. She, she planned to do um, a plan to export durian to China. And then from, the, her, from, the, from, from her report, we don't know exactly what it is, so we asked her, and she claimed of oh, frozen durian. Toward the end of her IS, frozen durian <coughs> becomes crispy, like uh, durian flavor uh, uh, snack. And we don't understand, so right now you want to do two products, frozen durian and then uh, snack, durian, uh, 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 durian flavor snack, something like this. And then she become confused of her own study. Finally, I decide to fail her and she must stay here one more semester. She wants to get back to her previous advisor, but the previous the previous advisor decided not to accept her. So she needs to work with a new advisor. Okay? So try your best if you want to do a business plan. Think carefully, what is your product and what is your objective? There are this one, strategic plan for exporting dehydrated durian. Okay, that one I told you. Uh, uh, the fourth one, this is my student. High online gamers, awareness and attitude toward product placement in online games. Okay. A business plan for a dog spa. Uh, this one. Than we learn, I don't know. Okay. Uh, and uh, the sixth one, this is my student. An exploration into Titan user attitude toward capture, you know, capture run. I can guarantee all of you have used capture. The distort, distorted character, when you try to authenticate and you saw like a like almost hit and in different weird style that you have to recognize. Anyone would know what is the purpose of the capture? To check like you are not a robot. Check whether you are a robot. And why not? You are human being. Why do you want to know? Why what they why does the program want to know whether you are a robot? Maybe some hackers try to the program. Oh, right now I don't think that the hacker would be a problem. Not the hackers, but those spammers. Okay, you want to sign up, for example, a marketing a marketing research company want to sign up for free email at Hotmail. You want to have like five hundred hot uh, five hundred Hotmail account. Happy 001 until happy 500. So you write what you call an automatic program, we call bot. So that Hotmail have to check every single request, whether it's a human being or not. Of course, the student who wants to do this with me, he has engineering background. But the actual, the actual objective of his work he does not want to study the, uh, the attitude. He wants to develop Thai capture. The capture, they use Thai character. And then I respond to him, please don't do that. That is for IT program, not MBA program. So he turned to, he turned his topic a little and start working with me. And the final one, the final one is uh, 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 my student too, okay? But this is, I want to, this is a, a, somewhat a very long name. Uh, understanding and ethical judgment of and users with intellectual property rights, protection, and intellectual property infringement. This student from uh, School of Law, Law School in Jerome And he is a lawyer, and he's working 
photography company, you know, the music company. So he's responsible for intellectual property. He decided to do this topic with me. His familiarity, his passion, his work. But I want to mention that when he pro he, he, he used online questionnaire, and he, he was able to collect almost thousand samples within two days. Who helped him? Jia Pichit. You know Jia Pichit, right? Drama Addict. Drama Addict is a website. He has a chance to discuss with the owner. Jia Pichit happened to like this topic. Jia Pichit wrote back, wrote, wrote email back to him. He is willing to post the link to on his website. That is the reason why he got a lot of responses. And his study is, I mean, I, I personally myself enjoy supervising him too. For example, he shared with me a lot on Ajahn. Think, um, if we play music in a restaurant, is that uh, intellectual property violation? Is that infringement? We don't know until no. so it's just a matter that you secure the advisor and try to work closely with him or with her in the next few months. Ah, I want you to read two copies of the pros of, of the proposal of prospectus. Is in one page. I want you to read only section A. And I want to hear feedback on his writing style. Is that um, above standard or below standard? Writing standard, academic writing standard. Yeah. Below. Any com any com any advice for him? How about introduction? that is not, it's below the standard, you should know how to improve it. Jacob, could you give me a name of the student that actually he or she can answer this? Not a child. Who is not a child? Ah, okay, not a child. Any advice to improve his writing? 
I'm still not finished reading yet. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, it's not finished, so you have to uh, nominate a new student. Tip, tip, tip to da. Tip to da is tip to da. Ah, so tip to da. Like all, which one is not so academic? Then what is a better one? In order to. <laughs> Ah, okay. What's wrong with the sequence? Um, they may uh, start with the objective, such as um, to, to, um, to improve the service of the, such the, the commercial bank, something like that. Okay. Uh, do you get the idea of what you want to do? Perhaps because you read the objective. I personally believe that this introduction is a very bad one. They are repeating. <coughs> right now, he used four sentences, <coughs> and the information is very minimal. Currently, banks have implemented an internet banking system so as to better serve customer and a uh, visitor. It should be easy when up come a uh, young commercial bank's online services were developed in order to better serve customer and visitor. See, they are repeating. Why they have to repeat it? And by the way, the student, he got permission to refer back to SDBEC. That's the reason he is able to claim uh, SDBEC. It will be easy for the customer to complete the transaction. Also, if SDBEC.com becomes popular, and I see no problem. I don't see any uh, urgent matter requiring we have to do this information system. Don't forget that in your introduction, you should lead the readers to follow your writing and then be part with your writing. And again, I saw the questions, I saw the problem. When you finish this, I saw no question, I saw no problem. Okay, let's take a look at the objective. First, examine the bank customer behavior in using SBEC and their motivation to use it. Is that all? Is that all right? It's not all right, they told us. It's too broad. If it's too broad, we use, uh, it, it, uh, what, what is your comment? <coughs> what is your advice for him? So I, I think, so they try to, uh, so because the bank customer, so I think to change to a uh, more specific group of the bank customer is not specific now? Mm, yes, for this. And then which group that is more specific? Action. So, uh, subscriber. To subscriber? Yeah, subscriber, subscriber for, for this service. Because if you say bank customer, it can be anyone. Oh, oh okay. So, subscriber. <coughs> oh, okay, so subscriber. Uh, it's a banking subscriber. Yeah, oh, okay. Subscriber. So, the behavior of the subscriber. Okay, and their motivation. Ah, if I change this to bank subscriber, okay, then examine the customer satisfaction. Is that? To examine, yes. You want to see the difference between to examine or only examine. I would say they are the same. If you use two, you have you you have to use parallel strategy. Two, two, two. I would say why you have to repeat yourself. I personally, if you ask, I don't want my student to use examine for the second time. The first one examine. The second analyze. Use different terms. The first one, behavior. The second one, satisfaction. I would say I can live with it. The first objective, behavior. The second one, satisfaction. 
then examine why customer decide to apply to online service. <coughs> Did you spot any mistake? Any like very strange or uh, very strange gesture? Don't comment on the language yet. Look at what this student hopes to accomplish. Objective number one, objective number two, objective number three. Do they go together? Which one go together and which one go in the other direction? Number three is going to the other direction. How so? The satisfaction. And why the difference from the first two? Jacob, you are correct, but your reason is not quite correct yet. The third one refer back to the decision before the before the person is a subscriber. The first two, you are going to if if a student want to examine the behavior, the behavior of the subscriber, satisfaction of the subscriber, this is the customer has not subscribed yet. You want to see why they want to subscribe, when they want to apply. I told my student which one you want to study, current subscriber or those who have not subscribed yet, but they decide to subscribe. My student is so, was so naive. I want to do all. Then if this is the role of the advisor. I would say, no, you should not. You have only three months. You have to select applying or using being satisfied. This student get back to SCB. And SCB during that time, they don't want to know behavior. They don't want to know satisfaction. They want to know the reason a typical customer would decide to apply or not to apply. So this is his topic. And then what telephone any idea of the fourth objective? He proposed four objectives. Right now he eliminated the first, the second. Should he eliminate the fourth one? You you will you will adjust the fourth one. And what is your suggestion? You almost you almost there, but the keyword is here. I told my student this could be a separate IAS. No way that you or my student will be able to fulfill everything. So I told you that do not use marketing strategy plan. This could be the other IAS. Okay, this would show you that you should have discussion with your potential advisor. Do not ask him or her to sign your proposal. You should ask, Ajahn, could you take a look at my pro uh, objective? Are they too difficult? Are they too easy? Do you think like that I am able to de deliver everything, the outcome? Okay, ah, then let's take a look at the execution plan a little. 
Data will be collected from the bank customer who fit one of the three criteria. First, the customer who already applied to the to use SCB EC service. The customer who have not applied to use SCB EC service. The customer who visit SCB EC website. For item number one and number two, with the help of the bank, can my student approach the two groups? Why not? The bank allows him to be in the branch, so he is he was able to distribute the questionnaire to those who already applied and those who decide not to apply. The point is, I think number three. I asked my student to check with SCB whether they allow him to post online questionnaire on the bank website. Because he wants to study, he wants to collect data from those who <coughs> at least once visit SCBEC website and the bank respond no. The bank did not want anyone to mess up with his with the bank's website. <coughs> okay? And section B is his improvement. You could read it on your own. Okay. So what is report of acceptable quality? I don't want to use best quality or even good quality. Why? You have three months. So at, the, at least you have to do IPS of acceptable quality. How could we know? First, the student must present provable fact, not any fact, but provable fact. Offer justifiable rational. In other words, the student must write in a very logic manner, logical manner. Include proper and verifiable detail. Offer, uh, offer logical and reasonable agree, uh, arguments. Offer easy to understand writing structure using an outline. Uh, tip to that, right? Could you give me a one, the other name? I want to know what is the outline. Tip to that. Or you want to answer your own? I would not. I wouldn't mind. What is an outline? It's a draft. I don't think it's a draft. It's a draft. It's like a almost like full, nearly complete version. What is an outlaw? Tiradon. Say it again. Tiradon. So what is an outlaw? And you write in a paragraph how to present an outline. Bullet. Each bullet must have few words. Each page. Each page or some. Few words, not phrases. Only few words. Many students prepare an outline. One bullet. Five lines. The second bullet, one paragraph, that is not an outline. The outline is more on uh, structure or skeleton of the of what you hope to deliver. It. Like this. This is the whole IS, the outline for the whole IS, the broadest outline. Abstract, program statement, previous report, relevant methodology, report of the finding, conclusion, implication. If you want to do a business plan, you might have different structure. And I assume that the program also uh, have copies of what, am I correct? Because for example, if, if you are doing IS here, you don't need the uh, VITA. VITA only for a student who want to complete a master thesis. Currently, your independent study, three credit, three credit. An MBA thesis, 12 credit, 
four times harder, four times more difficult. Okay, keep this in mind. You are not doing thesis. You are doing an IS, and then your IS is three credit. IS in marketing program, marketing uh, MS marketing, six credit. So the volume, the, the scope, different. Ah, okay. This is the broadest. Then each chapter you must have an IS too. For example, for research, introduction, problem statement, study objective. What what should be what should be included in major vocabularies? Specific terms that so unique people might readers might not be able to understand. For example, <coughs> my student he must have two paragraphs explaining what captcha is. Not everyone would be able to follow that. You don't need any uh, uh, detail on. Uh, internet, what the internet is, we don't need to know that, we all know that. Okay, if you want to do like research on finance, um, split stock, for example, what is it? Okay, but market cap, I don't think that you need a definition for that. Then study approach and possible benefit. Okay, so what should we include in the introduction? Every chapter should have introduction. What what should be what should we include of uh, uh, Piradon? Introduction should be uh, uh, or main idea of those uh, of those chapter. chapter. Introduction is very easy. This chapter will discuss. This chapter would. Present, provide a frame of reference to readers, what readers should expect in that chapter. Ah, this is outline, an outline for chapter 1. We can, you would know that in 1.2 from <coughs> statement, we need, we need an outline too. Okay, we must have an outline too. Okay, so we move to how to guidelines. I'm going to discuss with you general guidelines and writing guidelines. Start with general guidelines. First, once you have finished the objective, you have to be fully aware of them. Whatever you do after you get the mind of the objective. What you have to do is just to fulfill the objective correctly. Don't ask, don't do anything unrelated to the objective. And then be certain to communicate any topic to the reader. If you are not certain, remove it. Do not write what you do not know. The outline will help you. I know about this bullet. I know about this bullet. But this bullet, I have little. What does it mean? Read more. Acquire more detail if your topic is not fully developed. Okay? Or if, they, if that topic requires back. You just do Google and then you can get that. But if you use online resources, make sure that you have verified it before including before including it into your um, paper. The fourth one, this is a very difficult. Be clear and precise. These two might not go together. You want it clear. It might not be precise. You believe that, oh, it's not clear, add more information, write more, include more. So it's clear, but not precise. 
Sometimes you feel, oh, your paragraph is very precise, but it's not clear. Because it's so precise that no one will understand it. And then, in your paper, regardless of what it is, a business plan or anything, you have to attack, you need to discuss about limitations of the previous work. Therefore, you must be polite. For example, you want to do re you want to do research on uh, compensation structure for those who work for the government, and then you are inspired by Patrick Patrick Rich of Blue Come, two thousand fourteen. Ajahn Ajahn have done compensation structure for private sector. So you, so you are inspired by her work, right? Then you need to refer to her work, and then I, if I, if I am your committee, I ask, should we apply what Ajahn Patsuri discovered to do a compensation for people working for the government? Of course, she finished her project on compensation structure for people in private sector. Right now you move, you expand to cover those who work for uh, 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 government, can we apply it without you having to do this IS? Therefore, you need to attack Ajahn Patsuri work. That work is sub. Oh, that is not polite. Why you need to address that? Because you are not the first one who study the compensation structure. Ajahn Pasari has done that in 2014, and right now 2016, you want to do compensation structure, but your focus is different from hers. Hers is on private sector people, you is more on government people. See? So you have to be very polite when you discuss, when you are discussing about someone else's limitation. Okay? You have to do it calmly and politely. Create an outline and use simple structure. Ah, we are going to do the test, uh, to do the uh, uh, assignment exercise. Let's try to prepare an outline for the problem statement of one IAS factor influencing adoption of internet banking. There is no handout on this because we will do together. Ah, when we talk about uh, preparing an outline, we know that we are going to do to use bullets. Ah, okay. Factor affecting adoption of internet banking. Ah, okay, so this is the problem statement. What should be include? So you know that we are going to have bullet. This is the flow of your writing, starting from the first one down to the final one, and then this would end up. Objective, right? Objective one, objective two. So this would be problem statement. This is just an outline. So what is what will you cover in the first outline? What you will tell reader? Sutila, uh, uh, down, sorry. Yes, what is it? What will you include in the introduction? Ah, uh, sorry about like, what do you want to cover? Uh, after, the, in, after the introduction, what else? Ipsuda? Like a digital will be replaced. No, no, this is not the whole chapter. This is just section, problem statement. After, I don't want you to talk, a lot, uh, to talk on the introduction. After we finish the introduction, what is the next bullet? 
Singapore? Could you be more specific? Yes, what is it? <laughs> the, the current service, you are going to talk about the current service available or you are going to talk about security problem? What is the background about? What is it? Don't just write background. I want to be more specific. More because the outline will not help if it's not too spe if it's not specific enough. Because it's background. What is the background? So what is? No, no, just words. Not don't don't need to start with the sentence. Like uh, about 30 years ago, when the computer first introduced to humankind. This is not easy, I would say. If you talk about background, what is in that background? How about benefit of IB? I don't know, I asked you. <laughs> don't need to give me benefit. I don't want to know what the benefit is. But I want to ask should we start with the benefit of the internet banking? Ah, okay. Uh, benefit of internet banking. What else? Huh? Rates of doing the internet. So if we are the reader, ooh, we learn about the benefit. We learn about the rates. What else? What else the author should should prepare? What is the third bullet? Trend. What is about the trend?